Okay, next is the blend mode mask. When I started doing motion, I didn't know that the blend mode can also be used as a simple way to add some mask on our shapes or layers in motion. So how to do? So first select your shape and then go to blend mode. Then scroll down up to here. Stencil alpha up to behind. All of this can provide you different masking. Let's select stencil alpha. The pentagon is already masked. How come? Okay, so how come? So let's select our pentagon and move it around. As you can see, if we move around the pentagon, some of its parts will be invisible because our layer below, which is a circle, has the size of only this. The pentagon is only visible on this area, which is the size of our mass source, just like earlier. Next, which is stencil luma almost the same however if we change this circle to a gradient the fill color to gradient okay let's change the color of this one let's do black and white again adjust it a bit Okay, so now we change the blend mode from stencil luma. So if we move this around again, you can see that the brightest part is only visible while the darkest part is invincible. Right? So if we move our pentagon in the brightest part, that part of the pentagon will be visible however if we put our pentagon in the darkest area only a part of it will be visible okay let's reset it again then change again our circle fill mode to color now next is silhouette alpha so what this do is that it will make a hole on this bottom layer. So if we move this pentagon, which has a blend mode of silhouette alpha, it will make a hole on the layer below, just like this. Quite interesting, right? Then let's reset it again. Then next is Silhouette Luma. So, you know, Luma, always widest part, whitest part, or brightest part, visible, darkest part, invisible. So next is Behind. So what happens is that our layer, which with the blend mode of Behind, will be behind of the layer below. Let's look at it. Here. Even though we did not change the layer order, the because of the this blend mode behind, our pentagon is now behind our circle. Okay, quite interesting. Okay, and now lastly, we're gonna talk about this preserve opacity. This is another way to do a mask, which I learned from experience. Okay. Let's create a random shape. Now, this random shape, let's put it below our circle layer. And our circle, let's move it near the shape we have created. Let's change the color first again of this bezier. Okay, so we have a cyan now for the fill color our circle let's change the blend uh, let's check this preserve opacity so as you can see 
the part of the circle is only visible on this part because we have put the position of the circle here only. However, if we move this one, you can see that the circle is only visible on this shape we have created. If we move it around, it will be invisible. However, if it's inside, it will be visible. So that's the how to use the preserve opacity.